start with an idea. Well, actually, we just started with a, a phone call, right, that you won the prize. And then slowly an idea developed, and then it changed, and then it changed again, and then it changed again. But finally, now here we have an exhibition. So this, for me, is a very uh, rewarding moment. Rewarding because of the exhibition, but also rewarding because of the collaboration with the three of you and with the other people that you collaborate with. Because I think that one of the aspects that make you so different as artists from other artists is the fact that you always work with other people, with other artists, with people that you meet along the way. We always say that every time we, we use the word we a lot, and, yeah. but, but we do that just because uh, there are so many people in that we included. So. So we is the three of you, but we now is the is six, four. seven, eight, nine exactly. people who collaborated. Exactly. exactly. Painting, poetry, embroidery, um, installations, so many different things. And actually, in fact, the uh, reason that we actually we came to uh, John Basha's was that long time ago, back in Iran, uh, we watched a video. Yeah, of, the VHS video, yeah. Yeah, it was a VHS so. video we, we saw of uh, somebody uh, co collaborating with uh, Juan Miro. And then we were very fascinated by John being the collaborator and working to, with something. And once we came, first time we visited Barcelona, when we came to Barcelona, we started looking for him, and we were like, who is that person that was doing this amazing work? So, um, the, uh, one of the things that, that, that we have to do something in Barcelona, and then when, for, for our first trip, it was uh, that we, we go back to that VHS, and then it was very yeah. inspiring for our generation. So, yeah. And so, looked. it was a long, I mean, you, you witnessed that. I mean, it was a very long process to find him. But he was very humble. He invited us to his house, even though he didn't know who we are. It was a full day of uh, discovery. One of the things that for me was special on this collaboration, because you know, I have, I have been collaborating not just with Juan Miro, but other painters. I'm very interested in working with painters, no? Um, theater and painting. But uh, one of the things is that in this case, it's not a collaboration with a painter or with a visual artist or with three visual artists. For me, and I understood this from the very beginning when they start talking this day that were, they were at my, my place, it's like getting inside of a world. A world that uh, develops on circles, no? It's the, this first circle of the, day three, but then it's the familiar circle because they have been living at their place and the mother and the dogs and the people around. And then it's the circle of the, their own culture, the Iranian culture, and the culture of the 20th century, that they are all the times with this unseen, very open to the big names and the unknown names of the 20th century, etc. No, it's something that grows and grows and grows in a very natural way. This is made by women in Tehran, right? Um, so, yeah, throughout this process, we also uh, invited one of our uh, friends, artists, who's the community-based uh, artist, and she works uh, with uh, women who are making their daily uh, living by, you know, doing certain works. Um, and she was working with these women, and she taught them actually embroidery, stitching, and um, her name is Niaz Azadikha. Um, she started collecting stories from these women and asking them, you know, what is, what, what is it that they are most fearful of? And the word fear was also introduced by Joan Bashas. And uh, so she started collecting these stories and based on those stories, she started doing uh, drawings and paintings. 
And um, those drawings became the base for these, uh, these embroideries, which eventually they went on to the uh, puppet, our puppet, yeah. yeah. These women also told their stories about what happened to them. And part of that is shown here on the wall. Niaza Zadeha, our collaborator, she uh, described the uh, ladies as well as their stories in individual uh, short stories, kind of. And then she gave them to us for the. And now we see the roses and the locks of hair. Those are, those are, where do they come from, those locks of hair? The hair is, uh, the, each lady that's involved in the in embroideries, they make a wish and uh, make a voodoo, and then uh, send it to us, and then we bring it to Barcelona. So this is some kind of monument. on the wall, mm -hmm. this is, this wall is 4 meters 20, so room and a half, maybe it will be a bit like that, mm -hmm. mm, yeah. this impression, and then room. Oh, yeah. It's Almost more, like a mouth opening and closing and it yeah, closing more, each. It's more the first idea of the shadow of fear, yeah. and uh, the content is done by the, by the, yeah, ladies. Uh, on brothers. Yeah, ladies. Yeah. At the beginning, we start working with this idea of the shadow of fear that comes from uh, this fear that we see every day on the papers, no? Yeah. Fear about everything, terrorism, uh, the nature, the blah, 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 blah. It's like the end of the world will be tomorrow. It's a bit yeah. crazy uh, publicity that some people is putting in our, our social life, in our everyday life, no? That is not true. The world will not disappear tomorrow. This idea, no? The shadow of fear that is on top of us. But it was, and we start working with this shape a bit like this animal, the amoeba? Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Jellyfish, no? That is, yeah. has no eyes, very beautiful, very dangerous. And this uh, become the, the parachute that has a bit the shape. But it's very beautiful, but it's also very poisonous and it could yeah, kill most you. Most poisonous. But, but there's another aspect that I find so amazing and that also has to do with the way you work, and that's that it's always interactive, right? Um, perhaps you can explain a little bit about the parachute because it's not static. As yeah. everything in your lives and in your work, it moves. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, we have to invite John to join us for that. Um, John, he's come and join us. Another collaborator. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. John Cole is the. He's the robotic engineer, specialized yeah. in sensor. I um, was invited by the guys to come participate and sort of add some um, uh, artificial intelligence and robotics and uh, an automation to the whole project. So um, when we started collaborating, we started out with sort of an idea of maybe tracking people, and we put together, I think, a few, put together a few prototypes with some software. I think it's just been an iterative, uh, flowing experience since then. So um, last, last week or so, getting it just right so it sort of fits into the space here in the Makba and, and, uh, and interacts with folks has been uh, Similar. So yeah. yes, because how does it work? So um, there is a, there's a camera here somewhere in the room that's watching us. Yeah. And, uh, and what it more or less does is as we get closer to it, um, it'll, it, it will assess where people are and sort of um, express fear. So as, as, as the crowd moves towards it, it will eventually fold itself back up. And as the crowd moves away, it will sort of open itself uh, up to the world to show off its uh, work on the inside, and so uh, that's the the visual part of it. This is tracking and the interactive part, with, where people are um, interacting with the art. And then 
the control part, all, uh, all, all Juwan's patience and work to figure out exactly how the weights and the um, uh, marionette, so to speak, really, really works. So you can see that it uh, runs over top down to um, the, the uh, central computer that uh, will sit there and spin, uh, spin the motors back and forth to raise and to lower. And it has a built-in lag and it has a little bit of randomness also, which was something that we sort of, in the collaborative process, we sort of wanted, which was um, something like, a, something like a, a, almost like a random shadow that you can't really control yourself, but you are controlling it. You just don't necessarily understand how you're being, how you, how you're controlling it or how it's controlling right. you, so yeah. to speak. So it's not yeah. obvious, in other words. It's not obvious. So here, very unexpectedly, we see a neon sign in German that says two things, really. It says, macht schön, uh, clean up, or macht schon, uh, power itself. Um, and that has to do with the maids. It has to do, yeah, with the maids and also this idea of the role playing, you know, how we become maids and then we become the madame. We the improvise on the, the uh, Jean Jeanne's uh, play for one week from the morning till night with an arbitrary uh, audience. Yeah. audience. Yeah. So people, also the photos came, uh, done by the, also the audience, you know, they, they, they were part of the whole process they, uh, and also they were audience too. Yeah. So we have, we have that uh, Time. I think uh, for us it's a starting point which uh, connect us to John, you know, in terms of the uh, play with the power and the manu manipulator puppet. And for in one stage we started to ask the, what is the string? What is the, so they are like a system and they are kind of behavior, you know. As a self you uh, construct yourself from different things and then you take it as yourself, you call it self. If you see in the parachute also, uh, John also uh, play as those strings, you know, he's in the middle of uh, John, John and the ladies and you know, those, those two. The, you know. So he define a behavior with, uh, with John, uh, define a behavior for parachute, which is r like a riddle, you couldn't uh, yeah. read it, you know, you couldn't play with it. This journey, as we know, is not aiming for the skies, towards Mars, this bloodthirsty eternal god of wars, or Venus, this black widow, this seducer of poetic hearts, who raised her glass to Hafez and Khayyams, dancing with arms in the air, tapping foot like gypsy gals, and now consorting with Magnesis or Nemas, until tomorrow, that she will salute many more amorous minds. It's an ongoing project, actually. Yeah. That we call it Unfaithful Poem. And we kind of uh, find uh, po uh, Persian poetry mostly, and uh, we, from the Persian language that they were, you know, written uh, 50, 60, 70 years ago, uh, but they are for a specific time and space that they, these poems have been written. And uh, so we take these poems and we translate them into uh, English by a bilingual person, bilingual language person. But it, it is, I mean, the whole project is not really about translation. It is more about the sense of how these poems from that time are being interpreted to our time and where we live today and what, what we live now. And uh, we really try to get the experience of the person who's translating from Farsi to English. I'm Mandana, um, an old friend of Ramin Rokhni and Hessam and a collaborator on the MAIDS project with them. 
This poem is originally from a, a contemporary Iranian poet called Mehdi Akhavan Salis. A lot of the rewrite was about what is happening in the world, what has happened in our lives as various immigrants, and uh, this um, important theme of moving away from your own country to uh, embark on a different journey. But the journey that is described in the original poem and also in the final version is a journey to the unknown. I think I was, I was the last person that the poem came to, uh, but in the process of rewriting it, there were a lot of discussions between us. It wasn't just uh, like a one-man journey of rewriting the poem. There were a lot of discussions about different concepts that went into the poem and how it would have related to the events that we're observing from immigrants coming to Europe through this very um, frightening, um, vulnerable ways of uh, traveling on the sea and dying on the way to, for example, my experience as quite a happy immigrant who happily left my country to go on an adventure, to people in exile. There are so many different shapes that this uh, immigration, the journey um, takes. We start by, uh, you know, the events of what we are witnessing every day through, through the media. Uh -huh. And um, the, it was the time of the refugee crisis throughout the Europe and um, how people started, you know, walking, you know, from as they arrive from the sea and then they start walking until dawn. And um, so we start collecting these videos from different sources and um, um, download them, edit them. We get them into a certain um, editing that we want to go with and we start printing them frame by frame. Painting has become like a, uh, you know, something like a interruption between the viewer and the image. Mm -hmm. So it's invite people to think about the matter again. This is not a project on itself. This is part of this discovery of this flow. It is a repercussion of all the things you've done so far, and you will continue. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Project exactly. based on this, yeah. right? Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. No, this. I mean, this is really. I think for us, it's the beginning of uh, of. I mean, this specific yeah, project. I mean, to beginning of rolling more and more, and it continues, and it will be elaborated more. And uh, yeah, yeah, I mean. You start something like a poetry somewhere in the world and then it's echo somewhere else, you know, maybe the result, something that we can call it result is somewhere else, you know. In we some, are not really so looking it's, for it's the result. Important I mean, it's important to go, just, you know, flow it and, yeah. The process yeah. Is it's yeah. like it happened with this video, the AKS uh, that you founded many years ago exactly. of the show. Yeah, exactly. It was there, yeah. but the connection... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. Well, so. I, I feel Nobody very, knows. very so privileged to have been part of this stream, as it were, uh, of creativity and, and of life, and I hope that we will continue to collaborate in the future as well. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Joan. Thank you, John. Let's set out and make waves far away from here. Let's pick up our possessions and step in the road that never ends.